Keep watching to see how to make these Easter pretzel chips. Mmm. Okay, to make these, what you're going to need are some pretzels. I have mini pretzels here. You're going to need some wax paper or parchment paper. You're going to need either a piping bag or a plastic bag like a Ziploc bag and just cut off the end. It, it'll be fine. Uh, you're going to need some uh, black writing gel, yellow candy wafers, and a little bit of orange. And that's all you need. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually heat up my yellow candy wafers. I'm going to put them in a cup. I'm going to try about this much. I'm going to heat them up 30 seconds at a time in the microwave, stirring them in between until they're melted. And then I'll put them in my piping bag. Okay, my candy wafers are melted. It took about four times in the microwave at 30 seconds each. Now I have my piping bag inside a cup just to hold it for stability. I'm going to pour this into the piping bag. What I'm going to do is cut off an end. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move my camera. Just to get a better angle. And I'm going to start filling the inside of my pretzels. And you have to do this while the candy melts have melted. Obviously if they harden up it'll be too late. You just want to fill the inside of it all the way. So all three holes you want to fill and then right over top of those holes. Okay and as you see I have them all filled. You can either let them cool in its place or you can put them in the refrigerator let them cool a lot quicker. Now if you do move it to the refrigerator I suggest not moving it from where you have it for at least five minutes so it sets a little bit. You don't want it to shift and move around. Okay my little uh, pretzels with the yellow have cooled. Now what I'm and they're hardened up a bit so you can see the back side is just like that. And what you want to do is have them turned in a way to where I'll show you like that they kind of look like chickens a little bit now what I've done was I've just heated up my orange uh, wafers and I put them in a piping bag just like I did with the yellow but this time I'm gonna cut my tip and I'm gonna cut it real fine real close to the top so I only want a small little tip just to be able to control the the writing a bit. And what I'm going to do is make a beak. It's just a little triangle really. And that's it. That's one beak and I'm going to do it for all of them. Okay now all the beaks are done. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add the eyeball. I'm using black writing gel. If you want you can go through the same process we did with the yellow and the orange and melt some candy chocolates and use that as the eyeball. But this I just find a little easier to work with. So I'm just going to put one dot Make his eyeball a little bigger. Just like that. And that's it. All done. Just let them harden up and then serve. Happy Easter. If you like this video and more videos that I make, hit the subscribe button below. You can also check out some of the other videos I recently made by selecting the columns to the right. Thank you.